Hi, it's Jessie with Plan With Jessie. The last couple weeks I've been using this notebook for bullet journaling and this style of notebook I've only been able to find it in black and so I thought maybe I could try and decorate it. So for this one I just put this little house pangolin sticker on here but um, you know I'm about halfway through this one so I already ordered the next one and I thought maybe I could decorate this one just to show you how if you have a boring notebook you can kind of spice it up a little bit so um, that you have something a little cuter. So let's just open this up. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos about this, this is Essentials Notebook from Peter Piper, Peter Pipe, Peter Piper Press, is that what it's called? Peter Popper Press. And you could get these on Amazon for very, very inexpensive compared to some of the other notebooks. About $6.00. But like I said, it's just plain black, and that can get kind of dull after a while. So I thought, why don't we? That's a little bit. I don't know why it's like that. Um, why don't we make it unicorn? So I have this unicorn washi from Michaels that I haven't really used too much of. So I thought, why don't I do this? So there's, bless you. There's this big one. It's gold foil. It says, "You are magical. I believe in unicorns. Make today enchanting." This one just gold foil unicorn heads. And then this one says shine, bright, and sparkle. So I'm thinking I could just cover this and it would look pretty cool. Let's see. It's a little bit tricky because um, this washi has to be orientated a certain way. If you had a sort of a patterned washi without words on it or logos that were, you know, one direction, it would probably be easier because then you wouldn't have to worry about um, how it's looking. But oh, that's not right. The good thing about the washi is that you can pull it back up if it doesn't go where you want it to go. I'm not sure how well this will stay on as a long-term solution, but I can let you know um, once I'm using this one if if it's staying on okay or if you know it's coming off or getting worn or peeling up or anything. And there's this issue with this, so I just might stop it right there. I don't want to interfere with the strap. Let's clip it here. This is a rounded corner, so I'm just going to try to keep with that as I trim the edge there. Whoops. Didn't quite get all that. Okay. Now it won't bend. <laughs> Guess I didn't really think that through, Jess. Whoops. Now it broke. Um... I guess I should probably have taped it closed. So let's try again. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I am learning as I go. washi you have that you like um, you can use like you know the pretty watercolor washi would be cute with the words on it or I mean, really anything it's a little bit of a bubble in there it's all just a matter of what you want and if you know if your notebook lasts a long time I guess you could probably just take the washi off and put something else down because um, I think it'll still just come off whenever you Whenever you try to take it off. So there we go. So that's better. Now if I open it. Yeah, okay. So that's the what you want to do. You want to put it on while the notebook is closed and not open. So I think I'll just do like a pattern. Um, 
um, like alternating these different ones. Now I'm starting on the back for this one just because that's the way the roll is. The roll's going this way, which is a little bit annoying, but. And you can either leave space in between. I don't I don't think I want space in between just because the black doesn't really go with these colors. So I'm just gonna overlap it slightly. This one. Again, I'm going to need to start on the back because of the direction of the tape. So that looks pretty cute, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to continue the same pattern here. So I probably will just speed it up so you don't need to watch me do that completely. All right, so I reached the bottom here and I still have this tiny little strip of black and I don't wanna waste you know, the, the, the larger washi by cut, cutting it. So I'm just gonna use this other one that I forgot about, which says Unicorn, Magical, and Believe, and we'll just put that on the bottom. It's kind of overlapping, whoops, a little bit. Um, Cause I don't wanna have to cut this in half. It's not gonna look as good, so. So then down here again, you're going to want to cut the edge around the rounded corner just so it looks a little bit nicer. Pull that over. Make sure all these are tight folded down so they don't start peeling up on you. Okay, and then here, yeah. and let's just clip this off the back. And that's it. So that's what it looks like. Let's see. Just finish finish some of these edges a little bit. They're not they're trying to come up. I think it worked better on the ones that I made a little bit longer so that you could fold them over. So maybe keep that in mind when you're cutting it that you make them just a little bit longer so you can fold it over and that way it's not gonna be as likely to peel up. Um, yeah, so that's it. I think that's pretty cute. I will take a picture so that you can see it close up. I know the Lighting on the gold foil might not be coming true to color. Um, yeah, but so that's just a quick, easy, inexpensive way to make your plain notebook a little more fun. 
Um, I mean, I'm sure you probably have washi hanging around you're not using too, so it's not going to cost you anything to decorate it a little bit. So yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.